Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Man the Maker. Welcome back to Starcom Nexus. End of last episode, we wrecked the spaceport, starbase, starbase. We wrecked the starbase. We um, went to this cool pillar thing. We discovered a weird gravitic anomaly, potentially a stasis sphere over here. Um, and uh, we finished a mission. I mean, we have to go back and we have to turn it in, I think, which I think I'm going to do. I'm going to go and talk to our friend here and um, probably go back and do some research as well. Um, actually, you know, one thing, I intended to do this off camera, but I, I frankly I forgot to do it. I just want you, a story from the Undeep. Can I figure out... What I did wrong here. Lengthy off path adventure that starts with story from the undeep. Well, I've got it, but I did not get a lengthy off path adventure. Hmm. Nothing really. Nothing really of note. Sorry to do this now. I really should have done it off off screen i mean we can always come back to it we'll, we'll check it out we will check it out but um yeah no, nothing of note so there's definitely something there there's definitely something there and i'm gonna go and check it out again at some point i mean obviously this is not forgotten to me um is there a friend anywhere nearby have you have you left this area? Maybe if I had better scanners, I'd be able to see him. But he'll show up at some point. I think we can just go home. I think we can just go home. I better just do this actually. Um, I'm so tempted to just check. I'm gonna go check. I'm gonna pop in. Maybe something of note will happen here. Survey complete. Still nothing of note. Right, I don't want to just fly around doing nothing here. I mean, this is the coordinates that were given to me. Right? They were more exact. One six four four four. One six six four four four. It's it's like right freaking here. There's nothing else to do here. Hmm. All right. We'll just go home. We've got a bunch of research points. We'll spend them on range. I do really like range and speed, range and energy. Command a price. We can use more crew. How's the station morale? Yes, I mean, everyone loves me. 360 research points indeed indeed well there's some things that i really really want you for example you for example now that we're going to be shooting from so far away it might be worth doing that i mean at the same time i can Mm, can't go into a bigger class, but that's okay. I do rather like advanced materials. But maybe we get magnetic focus here. Since we are shooting at people from so far away, increases the rate of fire by 0.5 shots per second. That seems like a lot. Cell density. Now, well, getting this 
Unlock this? No, because it didn't unlock there. And this also isn't unlocked. So we have to do something to get that. Hmm. Antimatter injection. Don't really want to use more. I mean, turbo efficiency? Mm, probably not necessary. I wouldn't mind. I mean, this is 50. No. This is 50% more damage, but it does take more energy. Let's go with this one. You just shoot more. Did that actually finish even though I interrupted it? Yes. I'm happy to do that. This is weird looking. Um, we've got lots of space still. You know, it might actually make more sense to put it in my in my rear here. I think this go a little bit slower, but since I'm doing most of my time running away now, only in the front is actually when when I'm trying to fight people, I, I get up in the front, I get up in their face, right? That is a lot. I could use more guns. Just more guns. More speed, more guns. I kind of like it. I should have all. Oh, I should probably pick up. I think advanced materials will be next. I think advanced materials is a good choice for me because I'm not going to probably use armor that much. All right. That's, that's... wow. <laughs> so we're, we're definitely going for a whole hit and run build here. Look at that. That's crazy. Um, all right. I think, I mean, we want to go, we can keep going down, it doesn't matter, does it? We would like to run into our, our friend here, but without better sensors, I'm not entirely sure how to do that. I mean, at some point we'll see him, right? So let's just ignore it. Let's just go through our wormhole. And then from here, we're just going to keep on pushing on. I mean, no idea. All right, we've got some enemies. If I could even hit them at all, they would probably die very quickly. Yeah, that's a lot of damage for sure. A lot of enemy ships here, Jesus. Alright, I can just freaking wreck these fools and not even worry about it. You, you poor sap. Titanium, a little bit of gold. I don't know if it's really worth it to stick around here and like fight these guys. There's so many of them. There's so many of them. Yeah, I don't, I don't, need to, I don't need to mess with this. The cargo ship. I'll go for it. You're carrying stuff. Sure light. Seems nice. Whoa, so fast. I can definitely tell the difference in um, the spread. Oh yeah, those little bursts. He did not drop it. I thought for sure he would. Alright, buddy. I think I can just Just 
get up in your face and rip you to pieces. Yeah. Seems right. Chittick fabrication. The debris from the ship suggests the Chittick are less technically advanced than we are, but they have a number of novel technologies they can use. Yeah, cool. I mean, I'm just gonna leave here. Right? I'm pissed because I blew up their thing. See ya. <laughs> get flung way over here. And we're gonna see what's going on. Much quieter. Much nicer. I mean, we are a warship. I mean, look at this. That's pretty crazy. Right? High volume of fire. We want to be fast as well. I mean, I'm going to put a little bit into this this armor thing. But not, I don't think, any more of the kind of armor that we have to build. Hey, more neutronium. Ah, blah, blah, blah. Deposits of neutronium. Wonderful. I would like to turn faster as well. That's, that's, that's a thing. We've got a hostile frigate over here. Not very concerning. You know what we do to the hostile frigates, right? I mean. Yeah, we can even just stay out of range and let that happen. Pick up that sweet titanium. Scan the planet. Ooh, got an anomaly. Looking for some more Starcom stuff. Ah, lifeless planet appears to be an enormous statue of a humanoid astronaut carved from hard indigenous rock. It's only 200 meters from head to toe. Knowledge just suggests that it was carved in this position. The stone, while hard, lacks the tensile strength to support the struck the figure vertically. So it reveals that there is a small hollow chamber within the chest sealed with thick layers of artificial concrete. Drill, baby, drill. In a small cube-shaped room lies a human-sized version of the giant astronaut. Despite the protective sarcophagus, the suit is badly decomposed and its contents long ago turned to dust. The probe's narrow ultraviolet scanner reveals writing on the room's walls almost completely erased by time, but not all of it. Image analysis reveals the writing. Use the last of the escape pod's fuel to break out of the warp bubble before the short re... hopefully found a more hospitable world to touch down on. I've got about two weeks of food and water and a reprogrammed 100 NL unit with a full fusion battery. Given enough time, it could mine ore, build a smelter, fashion hull plates, craft an H drive, and launches off this rock. Just about anything, really. But it doesn't matter. I'll be long dead before it could do anything that might be useful. Maybe I'll have it carve me a nice tombstone. Starcom Science Corp. And St. James Brunton, formerly aboard the Morning Star. So somebody did reach here. Somebody was here. It's a huge planet. No surface anomalies detected. They'll swing by the star. You know, sometimes. Sometimes the stars are special. Get a little research points from it. Not this time. That's okay. We're quite speedy. I'm thinking more efficient boosters. I mean, boosting and shooting. Really, it's the guns that just drain everything. I would like to be able to boost indefinitely. Nothing else here? All right, well, we can just go through. I mean, we scanned all the things. Why not press on forward? Who knows what's out here? Busy sector and a desert planet. Scan that, baby. Surface anomaly detected. Extreme survival technology. So I'm going too far. Hostile orbit. What the hell is that? Oh! Sword Battle Cruiser. Ah, oh, my Starcom ambassador just received the most wonderful news. Someone or something recently destroyed the Chittick Forward base we discussed. An unrelated matter. We make room in our cargo holds for some supplies. Perhaps you can take these minerals off our hands. We'd like to trade with you? Ooh, well, it's the same thing. Ah, it's a different answer. Is it? No, it's the same answer. We'll be on our way. If we can help blow this up. Easy. We 
Easy peasy. Anomalies detected. We'll go check this thing out. Could I have made enemies with those guys? I mean, I'm happy I didn't, but... Could I have? Discovery! Metallic hydrogen. Scans indicate this gas giant is a core of metallic hydrogen. That I've long speculated about, but never actually detected. Are you blowing that? That is an elevator. And you're also just staying at a distance. Dude, you wrecked that thing. I mean, I'll, I'll take these minerals, thank you, but... Ah, hello again, friends. Your presence warms us like the sun on a basking rock. Ulaku. Understandable, the Ulaku are a curious race and a bit difficult to converse with. They've been starfang race for longer than I think even they know. Supposedly they developed space travel before writing, although that seems dubious. I can tell you what they place a high value on mutual gift giving, or what we would call trade. If you've gotten off on the wrong appendage, I'd suggest a gift. And they're interested in platinum. No, I don't want that. Yeah, I don't want to stand. Please. No service anomalies. Are you just gonna go and blow more stuff? Is there more stuff to blow up out here? Can I look at the tech tree? No. A large starship lies frozen in what at first glance appears to be ice, but the server team reports that it is in fact glass. The team's geologist speculates on some processes that might develop envelope a derelict starship with molten silica, but he is at a loss to explain how it formed naturally clear glass. In any case, there is a valuable derelict trapped under 50 meters of glass. Uh, laser through glass seems good. Oh. <laughs> the team's engineer points out with what sounds like an exasperated gas, but the laser will simply pass through the clear glass. Drill. Okay, it jams. We'll blow it up. Build a burrow down to the ship's hull. Okay. The ship is remarkably well preserved, so no signs of having been immersed in molten glass. The team's hopes of valuable salvage are dashed when they breach the hull. The ship was stripped bare prior to somehow being scuttled in glass, and the equipment that wasn't removed seems to have been destroyed with energy weapons. The team is about to pack it in when the jealous notice a broken data crystal mixed in with glass fragments the crew tracked in. Scanning with the Landis computer reveals some corrupted telemetry data and what appears to be two sets of precise navigational coordinates somewhere in this galaxy. Your first officer adds them to the nav computer. Bloop and bloop. I mean, we are going there. This one we can't do. No, we need extreme. Gotta remember that. Always passing this thing by. And we have scanned the rest of this. We'll just... Oh no, I wanna go back. I wanna go there. It's a nebula. Let's go back to the nebula. Probably could also research some more stuff. But it's quite quite far to go all the way back. Let's activate the drive. Let's boogie on out here. I mean, somehow we actually noticed this. Hmm. I do. I mean, I'm gonna ask about this this quest, right? I don't. Not not the one that we just got. I should not fly past this thing. Um. The, uh, the voice in the void or whatever. Fusion moderation. The gas giant should be large enough to sustain fusion reactions and turn into a star, but its carbon-rich solid core is acting as a natural moderator. Very interesting. There goes you, but you're not what I want. We'll carry onward. Ooh. Enemies. path. Huh. You're gonna die before you even get to shoot at me, aren't you? Yep. Yes, you are. <laughs> I love long range. And uh, the star is this way, and there's another planet over there. 
Brown Dwarf! Fusing lithium at a mass of 59 Jovians! Previously below the... Right. Well, we don't need to blow up everything, right? We got piloting skills? Nope. <laughs> no piloting skills! We'll just blow stuff up. So we got gold from that, apparently. Surface Anomaly! What's here? What is here? An only appears to be the heat signature of a small ship nestled at the far end of a narrow boulder-filled canyon. The ship's guns have been oriented for maximum coverage. The team doesn't detect any movement. Try and signal. The team tries to get the ship's attention by radio. When that fails, they try to signal with mirrors Then the landing's laser. After wearing a makeshift flag, they conclude that nobody is at home or they are deliberately ignoring the survey team. We're probably going to die. We got more people, right? The team strolls at the canyon, taking advantage of the natural cover provided by the boulders. Their tactical maneuvers prove unnecessary. The ship's sole occupant and some kind of avian creature appears to have died quite a long time ago. As far as the team engineer can ascertain, there was probably a smuggler who landed here to make emergency repairs to the ship's reactor, which had blown the equivalent of a fuse. The smuggler was apparently not an engineer and managed to complete the connection with his talon. This created what was probably a brief but spectacular light show. Well, thank you. I'll take some stuff. I like stuff. And now we can just, uh... Well, we'll go back, but do a little mining on our way out, right? That's all we got out here. Oh, crap. Oh, green comet. Discovery, green comet. Getting close is good. If I had done that with the red comet, I would have... If I had done that with the red comet, so it's just flying around in circles over there. And I have to get close to it. I don't really feel like doing that on camera. I feel like that's going to spend a lot of time <laughs> just flying around. But uh, maybe it's something we have to do. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure that out next time because we are out of episode. Out of episode. Out of time. <laughs> Also out of episode. Hope you guys are enjoying this. Um, this is uh, the last episode in my recording session for the, this game. The first recording session. So I'm going to once again kind of ask for feedback. I mean, uh, I'll probably have recorded the next session before you even get to see this one. But still, this is, this is a good point. Good point. What do you guys think about the game? I'm curious. I'm having a freaking great time. I'm really enjoying it. The action is pretty fun. I like putting points into things and leveling up uh, weapons and research. And the ship building... I mean... Maybe we're still early. It doesn't seem to have a huge amount of diversity. The research path does, right? This is definitely... And maybe this is... If I had researched other things, then I would be focusing on maybe building a, a slower ship with heavier armor or something. But I don't know. Maybe that could stand to be fleshed out a little bit more. The game is in beta. Very early beta at that. So, you know, let's not take these criticisms as being uh, so severe. But I thought I'd mention it. I like the writing. I'm intrigued by the mystery. Very, very intrigued by the mystery. I want to know what's going on. I want to know, how are we going to get home? How has our people been here before? Who? What is the deal with the voice in the void. All of these answers will come in the future. Next time, maybe. The time after that, perhaps. We don't know. But together, I think we're going to find out. So stick around. And until then, my name is Man the Maker. Take care, everybody. Have a wonderful day.